Hello everyone, my name is Dredden, and in this video we're going to talk about the shape menu and building with some of these blocks. Alright guys, so as you may or may not know, Alpha 18 has something called the shape menu in for its blocks. So when you just generally craft something now, you'll be able to craft it. And if you see this little shape icon up here, that means that there will be variations of it. So for example, these, these I believe are all the blocks that are shape shiftable i guess as you're building them with all this yeah i've given myself a bunch of stuff here just to kind of show what we can do and go from there all right so i've just laid out a nice little nine by nine little area here and hopefully it's okay and from there what we're gonna do is we're just going to you know, build it up a little bit um using a couple of different blocks uh, just for fun so this, if you don't know what this is, this is just the digger gun. This is just the dev gun that just destroys blocks. And um, yeah, let me just dig out a little bit of a floor here. Okay, floor created. Now, what you do to access the menu for shapes is you just hit R, and it's up at the very top here now, and you just go shape, and it lets you select from all the different shapes there are. Now. When I was looking through it, like I said, these are all of them. The stainless steel blocks don't seem to have one, but I guess that's okay considering they're blocks you just generally find in the game as in POIs, so I uh, wouldn't worry about it right now. We'll see what happens in a future alpha or a mod. Okay, so yeah, I'm um, just gonna lay down a foundation here. Be right back. Bam, who needs a concrete truck? All right, so I'm just going to add some walls here real quick. Yeah, let's get into something a little more interesting. All right, guys, as you can see from out here, we have got a nice little basic thing going on here. Mostly like what Joel's got going on. Uh, nice little area downstairs to start off with, and then a second floor to put our crafting and living. And upstairs we'll have uh, chilling out and farming. So... Now we can go into some more of these blocks here. So if we go into, say, number one, which is our wooden blocks, we can go and hit the R button. See, like, if you hold it down, you get all these options, right? All the old options. But if you just tap it, this is the first one that comes up now. Yeah, and you can just build all of your different little shapes um, in here. So if there's nothing that you need in here, I'm pretty sure there's everything. Uh, everything that I'm familiar with seems to be here. We actually are not going to use this block though, but yeah, let's just double check to make sure all these are the same. Yeah, okay, so you have extra stairs and stuff and the concrete ones and some of these rounded ones for concrete. Um, for brick, yeah, same kind of deal. You have specific ones for it, like these little blocks here. Um, let me see here, four R. And these ones, we'll do some experimenting out on the streets here with some of these guys here. And you, not very many shapes in rebar, because, well, there's not many shapes like that at all. Most of them, I think, come from, yeah, the wet concrete that you then upgrade. And the steel block doesn't have one. Uh, I guess you have to upgrade everything to that one. Somebody might mod in the other versions for the stainless. We'll see. All right, so I'm just going to add some real quick machicolations to this here thing. Um, should be pretty easy. So what I've done here is just made these uh, corbels. But well, first off, I'm going to put some uh, corbelling underneath them. A nice little arch if I can find it. By hitting R, and we're just going to look for the arched block. Hopefully it's in here. You guys may already see it. I think it's this guy here. You just... Like, my menu's all messed up. I'm going to restart. And we're back. Let's see if this is going to work. R. And we want the arch. There it is. It's really hard to see this. This is actually a funny icon. Um, I'm surprised when they did this one, they chose this angle. Though I understand sometimes icons are a bit tricky to figure out. Once we have that, we just go find the places for it and we put them in. Not like that. So now you just still have to, you know, make sure that you have the right particular things. One of the neat things that you can also do though is copy the rotation and the shape over here. So that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna kill this thing. Kill it with instant destruction. Um, so yeah, we have to rotate the block. 
uh, and apparently it did this. Now there's a couple of other things when you're actually using it for gameplay that are a little bit um, annoying. Like, all right, so for example, I play in a particular style where I like high mobility and whatnot. Um, and to get what I want, I have to often do something like this, right? Where I have got two of these now and I select one of them and I hit the R, select these ramps. Great, now I've got ramps. Fantastic. You may know, I'm going to start out with 250. Uh, let's see here. If we start about here, we should be okay. And, you know, I'll use this to not nerd pull up a building's edge. Um, sort of my way of doing it. It is pretty, it's like half as expensive. So it's my good way to do that. Let me take care of these guys. Taken care of, okay. But now, um, you know, let's say I'm done here. I want to uh, pull these back. You'll see something happening that's a little thing that you have to be aware of when you're doing this. Is if you have two piles of the same block type, it will now change it, right? So. Whichever one is the lowest one in your toolbar of that particular type gets filled up first. So now I've, you know, if you've got 10 or 20 of these ramp blocks and 10 or 20 of the other ones, now you end up with less of one. And you've got to switch them around and move them about. Um, I don't know if you did this, what would happen? Okay, that's cool. So you can always switch them back just by dragging them onto that slot and making that work like that. I mean, that's um, just something you need to kind of be aware of if you're playing a sort of fast survival game. It's a bit of a problem. All right, back up here. Um, what am I going to do here? I think we're going to go with uh, the wedge design that I've done classically. So we're going to go and hit the wedges, which are these ones. It's kind of too bad that these aren't sorted a little bit better. Like, it would be great if... Um, this wedge was sorted with the wedge tip, so they were like together, and maybe this one was like right beside it or something, you know, but now it's just like all separated by like this weird concrete wedge, which should be beside this one here. Anyway, let's get building. We'll go into advanced now, it's down here. And we rotate until we have the right one, one two, three. Let me just get this done. Okay, so that stage is done, plus I've started a little bit extra here so we can just go a little bit further with this quicker. So then we just hit R again, and really quickly select that. Then we're gonna have to hold R, copy rotation, and then we have our rotation we need. And from there, I need to fill in a couple of spaces here and then we'll just, I'll finish up real quick after that. And yeah, it's pretty easy uh, once you get the hang of this go back and forth between all these different rotations and the different shapes. Uh, it's getting easier. It's, it doesn't really take me too long to figure this out. So it's just a real quick change like that. Um, these corners are always a bit tricky. Yeah, and then you just kind of go down and oh, hit the hold the R. <laughs> it's still, like I said, it's not too bad. It uh, takes a little bit of getting used to though. So. And uh, there is one side with corbels and machicolation, so you can climb up there, shoot down. And if you happen to be up top here, we'll be able to shoot something down there. Now, finding the right kind of block to put in there is a bit tricky. Bars are good, but of course, uh, I think probably the best is actually the block I've got. But you need to throw it into a very strange rotation. Where is that guy? One, two, three. One, two, three. This I find to be probably the best if you're doing this. But yeah, I mean, it's not too much different than before. So anyhow, you just shoot down. And I believe you can throw down grenades. So let's just try that real quick. Contact grenades are not a good idea, apparently. So you can drop one down, but I think there are definitely some better ones here. Um, if we were to go probably pipe bombs as well, we'd probably get better action there. This is all kind of just a caveat. And 
and down. And maybe explosions? Yes. And of course, pipe bombs. Fall down. Go boom! Okay guys, I have uh, done a test a little bit more of the other things here. Um, yeah, doing toilets is pretty easy. You just figure out which one you want and you can put it down as one we would expect. Same here with sandbags. Uh, you just bring them out. Uh, da, 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 da. Of course you have corners. Hit the R button and you can just select what you want. Corners, short lock corners. Uh, probably do these bag ends here. Something like that. Uh, who knows what I'll do with these. Uh, then I, yeah, I was playing up with some of the other ones. This is actually not that. This is just the railings. So that's cool that you can put in some railings and such. Uh, I don't really have a, a use for them in this particular build. Uh, not yet. I just wanted to check out the numbers a little bit. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, so we are good to go A. Hopefully there's, uh, yeah, there we go. That and an eight. There, boom, A18. It's pretty simple, pretty quick. You don't need to carry a lot of extra things around you. So that part of things is pretty cool. So anyhow, that's the shape menu. Yeah, so I'm just going to finish up with this real quick and I'm going to make a different video on farming. So if you guys are interested in that, check out my farming video next. I'll probably also go into power doors as well. So I will see you guys in another video. Thank you very, very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more about 7 Days to Die. And I will see you then. Bye-bye.